So there's a six step formula that I use to help people create a healthy relationship with their devices. And in this video, I'm going to talk about step one. Step one is called self-awareness. So self-awareness is all about understanding why you use your phone. And what are you thinking when you use your phone? What are you feeling when you use your phone? And not just when you're using your phone, but also when you want to grab your phone. Like, or when you have it in your hand. And think about it. Why, are you, why do you have it in your hand? What do you feel? What's the purpose? Why don't you just leave it there? What are you waiting for? And also when you want to go for your phone, is it because of a notification, that external trigger, or is it because of an internal trigger, this, this, this feeling of boredom or, or sadness or disappointment or the need for attention? What is it that makes you go for your phone? And also you want to understand how much you use your phone. There's a lot of apps that help you with that. There's screen time, there's digital well-being, there, there's forest, there's rescue time. There's so many apps that can help you to become aware of how much you use your device. It's very important to understand where you are now. What's your current position? Where are you now so you can figure out how to go where you want to go? And another part of the self-awareness step is to understand how is it affecting your life? How is it affecting your relationships? How is it affecting your self-development, your endeavors? Why don't you like to be on your phone? You're watching this video because you don't want to be an addict. You don't want to be compulsively using your phone all the time. You don't like for the screen to take up your time so much. So that's why you're watching this video. So what's wrong? Why not? Of course you're right, but do you understand why not? What's the problem? What is affecting in your life? Do you see that people are complaining about your use? Do you feel just sad? Just some, you know, a lot of emotional a lot of emotional feelings, negative feelings that you're not happy with? Is it, is it that you see results in your life not showing up even if you want to, but your phone is robbing your time and attention all the time? What is it that makes you not happy with your phone use? And then you want to think about how you do want to see your relationship. What do you want for your relationship to look like? How do you want for your self-development to look like? How do you want for your results in life to look like? How do you want to see yourself? And where is your future self? What is he doing? What is she doing? With who is she talking? What are, they, what are you doing with who? Where are you? How do you look like? What are you saying? How are you presenting yourself? How, you, how are you helping? How are you serving? How are you inspiring? What exactly are you doing? So that's all part of self-awareness. Understand where you are now and understand where you want to go. And then also understand that there will be thoughts that try to tell you that why do you need to change? Everyone is using their, their phones. Everyone is using social media a lot. Why would you use social media less? Why would you use your device less if everyone is doing it? Or it's not that bad. You're not an addict. Uh, you just use it maybe a little bit too much, but it's fine, you know, because you're working a lot and there's so many people in your social media list that need your attention and you're popular, right? So you got to be on social media all the time. So there will be thoughts that, that your brain will basically try to tell you that you don't need to change, that it is okay, but it's because you trained your body, right? The habit is ingrained in, in, in you. You're used now, you're used to using your phone a lot. So your body and brain will try for you not to change. And that's why it's important to understand where you want to go. So when you see your brain and body want to go back to their old ways, to their old habits that they're used to, that you can tell yourself, no, I am going through with this new path, with this new development, because of what I see and what I envision for myself. So know where you are, so you can craft the path to where you want to go. So that's what step one is all about self-awareness that's the first step to change in any situation